So we've said thank you before, but it, we have to also reflect on what we have done today, I think. And uh, somebody's going to help us to do that. This man is Max Krimningsmorne. He develops training programs to support the needs of the organization and support staff trainers. He has worked with the Serbian Organizational Learning at Arbetsförmedlingen, and he will now let you know how he has seen this day. So please welcome Max Krimningsmorne. Thank you, everyone. Uh, it has been the most interesting day to listen and to hear and speak to you all. I uh, uh, will start now with a short summary of today. What have we heard and seen in order to you know, get an entertaining session? <coughs> tell the participants what I'm going to tell them, tell it to them, and then summarize what you have told them. So, I'm doing the summary part with your help. So, you won't get away. Yeah. Uh, we started with some, uh, should we call it, improvisational theatre? Well, yes. uh, <laughs> we had uh, some of our speakers substitutes by actors. So. <laughs> and uh, then was uh, uh, Miss Kathleen Fiedenstaff, the professor in organization learning who talked to us a bit about uh, how to create a learning culture. One of the key things, the things I picked up was what is learning, what is competence, how we within our respective organization define those topics. I know, for myself, me and my colleagues, we could spend an afternoon, perhaps a week, discussing those terms and seeing that we can find a definitive definition of them. So, that's perhaps the reason why we haven't defined it. <laughs> yeah, then we talked about how to move from an individual learning to an organizational learning, from individual knowledge to organization knowing, and the importance of knowing the need. Why are we here? What is our mission within our organization? Who are we supposed to and she talked about the importance of reflection in moving from knowledge to confidence, from explicit knowledge to passive knowledge, and in individual learning to learning through experience and participation. And she talked about the importance of the informal groups in learning processes. And that the trust between employees was of an essence. If we can't trust one another, how can we then learn from one another? Yes, and there was also a few more examples the importance of role modeling. Can we find the good employees that everyone can observe and learn from? Where are they? We can ask, ask ourselves within our organization, do we even know where the good employees are? The top performers within our organization? Can I find them? And um, then we moved on. That's from Austria, Germany, a good example from how to. Management, the knowledge management, so, and the work, try the new method. I'm not sure what you call it. No? Thematic cases. Thematic cases. First a pairwise discussion, then a group of four people, and then we were allowed to ask you questions. I found it an interesting method for when you have a subject matter expert who knows something and then you can discuss it and ask questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great. Then we heard some examples from um, Croatia and, uh, and Sweden. And we discussed them and also Norway. Don't forget Norway. <laughs> and it was my impression that every, every group had some really interesting 
trans and com complex and how to move forward. Okay. But what I would like from you now is to think some more, to reflect about today. So I would like to give you two individual two questions to answer for yourself individu individually and write. Use the pen, write on paper. The first question. What are your lessons learned today? And the second, what will you bring back to your organization? I will give you five minutes to write, and then I will ask you to share with the rest of the group. <coughs> what are your lessons learned today, and what will you bring back to your You said most. Yeah. What is the most? Uh, I. It's uh, the good examples that we have heard uh, from Julian and Tobias. I think it's. Um, uh, I really would like to explore more about setting learning and knowledge in the system, as you have done, and um, find that uh, that is um, have given me a lot of input. And. Um, also, of course, uh, the opportunity to, uh, to have all the groups input to our challenge uh, regarding the inclusion of youth. I have uh, got a lot of uh, ideas and input from everyone, I think. And uh, so I have also some concrete ideas to, to check out when I come home. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you. Move to the next ta table. Any volunteers from there? Volunteers. <laughs> okay, then, before I get appointed. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm thinking about the, um, the idea bank uh, from Austria. I found that extremely interesting how you're working with that. And also the open events in Germany. Uh, I kind of like that idea to get, to create the informal platforms uh, for knowledge sharing. Which I really find interesting. And um, as Laina also said, it's been a lot of good things said and discussed today. So my head is a little bit full <laughs> with all the impressions. Uh, but um, uh, what I'm taking with me to our organization, Davos Union, is also the good input from Australia, which we are looking at a lot when we're building our new organization. Uh, so I'm um, um, very interested to continue that discussion with Australia mm -hmm. and also Denmark and Estonia has also given me lots of input. And also um, one thing that struck me was how different we still are. We're so much alike and we have still the same problems and challenges. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing I really take with me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Someone from this table? Okay, I'll... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that felt the pressure. Uh, no, I have to say that it's been a wonderful day. It's been so good to listen to everybody. And I, uh, from the first lesson <laughs> that Katrina taught us, I, I think a really good uh, quote that she said was, leadership is also doing not just knowing and saying. I thought that was very good. And I can apply that to myself. I also really enjoyed the two of you, uh, the discussions you had uh, about platforms and systems in organizational learning. We have so much to learn from you. And I think sometimes, at least in Sweden, I don't know about the other ones, but we think sometimes that we know everything. And when we meet here, we know nothing. <laughs> it's very interesting to, to find that out. Like you said, Lena, we're very much alike, but we can also learn so much from each other. It's very, very useful to have these few days to get to know other countries, uh, things that you can learn and teach us. And that gives me very much uh, a good feeling. <laughs> and. Um, what I will bring back to my organization is also to 
dare to step outside of the box. I like the uh, expression that Katrina told us that sometimes when it feels a little bit hard, you have to take another step uh, in order to get more um, developing, more, more um, learn more about yourself and about all other things. Like for instance, doing this is not something I do normally. It's very good to take those opportunities, even if, even if you don't have the time or you don't have the, um, I don't know, money or whatever it is. Just try to take another step and, and, and do the things that you find very hard. Mm. I think that's a good thing to bring back to the organization. Mm. Thank you. Well, that, uh, I hope you have uh, gathered some useful things to take back to your respective organization. So, and now I will leave the word to you. Thank you, Max. <laughs> the big hand to Max.